going to be a real tough one for Korea to Very good catch, I suspect, off the glove. No, it doesn't look as though it is going to be a very good catch off the glove, so our only way is to uh, look at the replay. Well, Donald is enormously disappointed on this one. And that's the reason why. That's out. Well, Steve Dunn. He's under, under a lot of pressure. But that is definitely out. Well, it might be worth looking at it again. I think it carried into the glove. It certainly hit Atherton on the glove. Perhaps the umpire thought it didn't carry. a very quick bouncer coming from round the wicket much harder to play for the right hander it's starting off on the outside edge of his body so to speak and then uh, going across past his chin or over it about there and uh, again Alan Donald fiery fast bowler and some words to say to Michael Atherton he was just inquiring after his health and that's the one that uh, came off the glove out nine overs to go this evening these two batsmen to survive if they do they will have won round one well that's good for them just to keep tucking away these ones applause for the 50 partnership Vicious, really, really vicious. Straight, right at the target, which uh, in this instance was the head. Well, I must admit, I'm glad uh, I'm sat here behind a monitor rather than being out there facing him because uh, Alan Donald is really firing on all cylinders. Very quick delivery. And uh, almost a little bit of appreciation there from Michael Atherton. Just a little nod. Oh. He's hit that high in the air. Paul Adams going back from square leg. And it drops two or three yards in front of him. Oh, 
Well, I think he probably reasoned that with all these fielders close in and England needing runs to win this match, that it was a reasonably safe shot. Had he got uh, half a bat on it? Well, he certainly got half a bat on it and it uh, ended up safe, but only just. Paul Adams has now gone out deep. Well, between them, they could write a book, these two, by the time they finished. The uh, transcripts might not be uh, particularly publishable, not in the full form, but it's exciting. Yes, neither of them are shying away from it. Well, nicely placed, Mike Atherton. Uh, it's obviously a pleasure for him to get onto the front foot, having been, spent most of the last couple of overs fending off Alan Donald. 149 more runs to win is the target. Nine wickets still remaining. Wait, wait! Well, Johnny Rhodes takes the pace off it. It was an awkward one for him to stop cleanly. He's saying we get two. England uh, move on to the 100 mark. And I think there's uh, relief all round. Certainly the ground is uh, quite quiet. It's erupted into applause. <laughs> What's going to be the verdict this time? Very same, uh, very similar to the last one. All the pressure on the umpire, and the pressure put on by Alan Donald, by the entire slips cordon. Nasser Hussein is the most relaxed man out there at this particular moment. Well, of course, if you don't ask the question, you go, don't get the decision, but there is an awful lot of uh, asking going on, and that one, I think, uh, quite clearly striking the pocket of the trouser rather than the inside edge. Very good decision from Steve Dunn. Yeah! Another chance, oh, he's dropped it. Well, that is going to make Alan Donald absolutely livid. Mark Boucher has hung on to all those throughout the series. He was diving a long way across in front of his slips there, and for once it spills out of the gloves. And there would have been no doubt at all about that. It's been a really testing session for everyone out there. And not least for that man, Alan Donald, who thought that finally he'd got the reward for some inspired fast bowling. Yes, not a happy chap, Alan Donald. Got the genuine edge. Fairly straightforward catch, it has to be said to Mark Boucher. And for once, he spills it. Well, how often have we said in this series that uh, Mark Boucher hangs on to the important nicks and catches? Unfortunately, on this occasion, at a very vital stage, not only in this match, but also in the series, Mark Boucher spills a fairly straightforward chance. Well, to uh, my memory, he's only really dropped one, I think, which was down the leg side some, somewhere early in the series. And he's dropped plenty that haven't taken the edge, but whenever the edge has been found, he's been there very solidly. And... Uh, it, Caps an extraordinary passage of play. It would be very unfortunate to castigate this young man for the error. It's the sort of thing which, okay, should have been taken. Alan Donald in a really supportive gesture there has uh, come back from long leg just to reassure him. There's no mistaking the emotion on Alan Donald's face at the moment the catch went down, but that's a, a really important gesture there. shot at a time like this almost as though nothing's happened for the last 40 minutes pure grace pure ease pure timing well certainly pure entertainment and Alan Donnell of course was then reprimanded and fined and um, 
Well, it, it makes you wonder, really, whether that bowling was entirely legal according to the law of the game. It's not supposed to be intimidatory by any way, but if, if had it not been, much of the excitement of it would have been lost.